Hello everyone, I'm Shamant Gowda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series. And this question was given as the bouncer in the last video. Okay, very similar question was explained in the class by taking the question of the day. This question, see again, I'll explain and I'll solve this one. Look here guys, 12% more gain by selling a table for rupees 6600 at the place of 6000. Okay, means when he is selling it at 6000 only, he is making profit. If he is selling it at 6,600, definitely there is a profit more. How much more? In rupees, it is 600 more. You can witness this one, 6,000, 6,600, difference is 600. And the difference, whatever you see in terms of money, rupees, is given according to the question as how much here? 12%. So, we can easily say that 12% value in terms of money is equal to 600. If 12% value is 600, 1% will become how much? 12 into 5, this 0, I will put here. If 1% is 50, then 100% is stick two zeros. It is all about sticking zeros in percentage, guys. So, 100% value is 5000 and we consider our CP as always what? 100%. My investment is cost price, which I will consider always as 100%, which is nothing but 5000 and the answer is B. Many of you guys have given the right answer in the comment section, okay. Keep going and guys, this is today's question of the day and this one I have taken from the concept of simple interest and the question says a person invests 1,40,000 in bond A and bond B, okay, 1,40,000 he is invested in two schemes A and B where A yields 5 percent rate of interest and B yields 8 percent per annum rate of interest. The sum invested in B should not be more than 40 percent, should not be 40 percent more than the sum invested in A. That means, the sum whatever you invest in B, which can't be 40 percent more than that of investment of A. Means, for example, if you have invested here 100 rupees, max to max you can invest here is only 40 rupees. If you have invested here 1000, max to max you can invest is 4000. Similarly, if you have invested here 10,000, this would have become maximum 4000. If you had invested 1 lakh here, maximum this would have become 40,000. That is why he has given 1 lakh 40,000. You have to split these two in such a manner that you have to put 1 lakh here, 40,000 here and find the maximum interest he can receive. See, maximum interest received means we cannot invest all at 8 percent. There is a condition that the sum invested in B should not be more than the sum invested in A, 40 percent more than. That is what in this 1,40,000, how to invest without violating the given condition means B has to be 40,000 40, and A has to be 10,000. Now, when I invest 10,000 at a rate of 5 percent per annum, I will get an interest of 5,000 from here. Sorry, 1 lakhs, 5 percent is 5,000. Similarly, here 40,000 is 8 percent is 8 into 4, 3200, 3200. Here 3200 and here he is getting 5000. So, the total interest he receives at the end maximum is 8200. And guys, this is the bouncer of today and try to solve this question and put the answer in the comment section. Thank you. I will see you in the next video.